All right, my minions. Yes, here we go again. Coming to you from a undisclosed location. Yeah, this is my little area here. I do some work at. So for today's message, learning to love pain and discomfort. Now you would think, why? Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to learn to love pain and discomfort? Well, I'm, I'm glad you all asked that question. <laughs> it's how we improve. It's how we improve performance. It's how we get better. It's how we get more skill. Learn to love pain and discomfort. Training is hard. Training is supposed to be hard. And you're supposed to adapt to that training. You know, I personally hate running. I don't, it's like the most, I don't like it. I don't, it's the most mind numbing thing ever. If I gotta run, I prefer to run outside. I can at least change up the route, get some fresh air, you know, change the scenery a bit, bring my dog with me, even have family runs, you know. But I don't like it. But I do it because I have a goal that I'm trying to reach and I'm trying to achieve. It requires me to be at least halfway decent in running. The only way you're going to improve in something is to do it. So if you have a passion, if you want to be the best volleyballer ever, if you want to be the best police officer ever, best soldier, best sailor, best marine, best guardian, you know, best basketball player, best astrophysicist, whatever your goal is, whatever your dream is, you're going to have to do things that you're uncomfortable with in order to achieve those goals. And guess what? You should look forward to that discomfort. Look forward to that pain. That's something for you to accomplish. That's something for you to achieve. That's something for you to adapt and overcome. And Muhammad Ali said it best. And this is a quote that I saw on the poster anyways. <laughs> They basically that he, he hated training, every second of it. Every, didn't love it at all. But he made the decision that he would suffer now so that he could become a champion forever. And Muhammad, we all know Muhammad Ali, one of the greatest boxers of all time that ever exists. Pioneer. And that's what it takes. When your muscles are burning, when your mind is just mush, when you can't think, and you're exhausted, guess what? You will rest and your body adapts to it. That's how you improve. You heal. You overcome that discomfort. And eventually that pain and that discomfort will be easy. It will no longer be painful and uncomfortable. And then, you look forward to the next level of pain and discomfort. And you have to dive head first into that. <laughs> but that's how we improve. So that's how we get better. That's how we become more skillful, regardless of what it is. It's the little things, the tedious things, the details that you need to focus on. There are mosquitoes around me right now. <laughs> so don't mind me. These are the things you need to get, get get used to. And I know I've said it before, you know, and this is it's still true. Enjoy what you're doing. You know, you don't have to necessarily do things that are mind numbing and you're just just dreadful. You know, yes, you do enjoy what you're doing. And you can pick and choose different exercises, different activities to do that you would actually enjoy and you look forward to doing. But there are going to be times where you're going to have to do a certain activity, read a certain report, perform a certain exercise that you're not going to enjoy, that you're not going to like at all. That's part of the process of improving. That's part of the process of becoming more skillful, more skilled in what it is you're doing. You're people who enjoy sales. They enjoy being a salesperson, but hate inventory. <laughs> you know, it's part of it. Learn to love the pain, learn to love the discomfort, learn to look forward to it. Because guess what? You're gonna see the results. 
It's going to make it all worth it. It's all about the results. It's all about the solution. You'll feel great afterwards. It is what it is. As far as fitness goes, the, the exercises and training, the exercises that have cultural names to them, which put it that way, the Russian twist, the Saxon side bend, the Turkish get-ups, <laughs> are all god-awful exercises. But guess what? They'll get you the results that you need, guaranteed, almost guaranteed. I don't want none of you suing me. So nearly guaranteed. <laughs> but they're god-awful exercises. No one wants to do them. They're not glamorous at all. Everything hurts. But guess what? You will get the results that you're looking for doing those exercises. So if there's a country attached to that exercise, you should probably get to it and start doing them. Anyways, again, as always, thank you again. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate the support. My shirts are coming. I finalized them. I approved them. They're on their way. Should be here in about a week or two. Other things to look forward to. Um, there's going to be some more demonstrations coming. Probably some giveaways coming. So stay tuned, keep watching. I'm editing a lot more video for our training training videos and stuff that we've done. So look out for Training Thursday. That's coming. Frustration Friday may possibly be coming. Not sure how I want to necessarily vent, vent my emotions and put it all out there. But may I might leave that up to y'all. You know, you can message me what frustrates you. And I will advocate on your behalf. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But just remember, learn to love pain. Learn to love discomfort. If you have a goal at all, regardless of what it is, anything you're trying to achieve, it's not going to be easy. Nothing worthwhile it ever is. So understand that now. Mentally prepare yourself for that now. Again, please subscribe, like, follow, comment, all that good stuff. I appreciate it. I really do. And I will see you next time. Thank you.